Hello, and welcome to our first playthrough of the Film Vault Top 5 game. Before we get to playing, I'll walk you through the basics of what this game is about. TFB Top 5 is a competitive party game. Points are awarded when a player's top 5 list has any matches with the opponent's top 5 list. A player with the most points at the end of 3 rounds wins. A few terms we should define before going forward are player and opponent. A player is the person who is currently taking their turn. They are the only person during that turn who can win points. An opponent is anyone who isn't currently the player. Opponents cannot score points in the turn. They must wait until their turn when they are no longer an opponent, but rather a player. Make sense? Cool. Moving on. At the start of each turn, the player draws three top five category cards from the deck, chooses one, then discards the rest. Once player chooses a category card, player and opponents all have three minutes to write their top five in descending order. Player's turn is now done, and the opponent sitting to their left is now the player. After the three minutes, all top fives will be read one at a time. The player gets points for each answer that matches any of the opponents. Once everyone gets a turn, the first round is complete. Whoever has the most points after three rounds is the winner. There's a tiny bit more to it than all that, but these are just broad strokes. Other rules will be further explained as the game goes on, so sit back, enjoy, and if you dig it, I hope to play with you in a future game. Oh, I almost forgot. How do we decide who the first player is? Why, well, we do a Flick fashion, of course. That's where we confess the flicks we've seen, and that's coming up right now. Okay, well, I'll just say I saw Saw X, um, you know, this past weekend, and I really loved it. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I'm a big... I I've seen them all. I rewatched the first three before I went and saw this one. And uh, I gave it four stars, so I really enjoyed it. All right, Pant. <laughs> All right, um, the movie I'm gonna flick fest is called Flora and Son. It's in theaters now, and also just released a streaming via Apple TV. Um, it's by the guy that made Sing Street and a couple others, uh, and it's fantastic. It's it's a relationship between a mother and her son, and they find the that music between them can connect people um and they end up forming a band and it's just lovely and that'll make you cry it's awesome flora and son all right dan um well i i i got a charge that i uh, somehow miraculously subscribed to stars for some reason <laughs> and so i that i did not know so i went out there and looked at it and lo and behold sisu is on stars so i streamed that today oh yeah um there's not enough good things and amazing things I can say about this film. It is, it's, it's bloody. It's gory. It has an amazing, simply told story. It's, it's not simple like in a dumbed down way. It's simple mm -hmm. in like the, the 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 villains and the protagonists are clearly set up. It has a great female empowerment element to it. There's some amazing special effects and or practical effects with some gore and violence. Um, but very low on dialogue. It's a, it's a film that does a great job of showing you the story in an amazing way without really having to tell you much of anything. There's very little exposition uh, and what yeah. little there is pretty much gives you the whole roadmap that you need for the film. The, the lead character is phenomenal. Uh, if you like just an underdog and someone that you can pull for and someone that you want to see the best things happen to when all these other shitty things are happening to him along the way. So five out of five stars for sure. Sisu. Alex, what do you got? Um, so you said a movie you like. I just watched The Book of Henry. That movie sucks ass. <laughs> I do not <laughs> recommend. It is bananas. Wow. If you've never seen it, it's hilarious. Um, it's like this weird Amblin esque movie with this, like this ridiculous premise. And with, you know, a human being watching, like, wait, wait, no one would do this. This is ridiculous. With the world's, like, smartest kid as the protagonist, he's so annoying. He sucks. He's awful. Uh, <laughs> very fun to watch, but uh, please don't. It's on Netflix, so. <laughs> it, it really sold that one, Alex. <laughs> that made, didn't, didn't that movie get ridiculous? <laughs> didn't that movie get the director kicked off of one of the Star yes. Wars movies? Yes. Colin Trevor oh, made yeah. $20. <laughs> 
it from <laughs> Jurassic World. And they're like, holy shit, let's give him Star Wars. And then he made that, and like, this dude's fucking banana. He can't, no, absolutely yep. not. Get him off the project. All right, Danny, what do you got? All right. Um, I saw a movie. This was actually at the beginning of the year, so it was a while ago. But it just got released on Hulu uh, called Theater Camp. Oh, yeah. And uh, I I got the pleasure of seeing it at Sundance. It was a midnight movie. And uh, thank God that it was as entertaining as it was. Otherwise, I would have fallen asleep. But um, Mm -hmm. it's a comedy. It's a mockumentary style comedy. So it kind of mashes the office with like best in show it's kind of got both of that Mm -hmm. um and it's basically about (laughs) uh bumbling son played by uh jimmy tetro and his mom ends up getting i can't remember exactly what happens to her but she can't heart attack uh, host the camp something like that yeah she has a stroke because of the lights at a a, a show in a coma right yeah i just watched it everybody's seen this okay (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah so she is out for the summer and so he comes in and tries to run the camp and all of the theater kids are so stuck up and posh but like they're so theater kids and I it was just one of the best watches when I saw it because the row of people in front of me all must have been theater kids because they were just dying at everything that was happening in the movie all right maybe so uh just uh (laughs) uh we got Theater Camp, Sisu, Book of Henry. I forget the Florence other two. On, Florence and on X and socks. Cool. Um. So, Is right Joe down. Asleep or I, yeah, you forgot I, Joe. I, I don't... Well, so the last two movies I've seen, I yeah, I went to saw X yes oh. last night for my birthday, and uh, I saw Sisu last week. Thank That's you. Your audio. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, so I'm going to have to go with the movie I was watching that I paused to come play the game, uh, which is Dr. Sleep. Um, yeah. I, I love horror movies, and uh, I think this one's a little underrated. Um, Agree. It's a great sequel. I don't know how true it is to the book, because I've never read oh, okay. either of books. <laughs> but I was not prepared, and... Uh, a little intimidated by everyone's uh, great uh, podcast voices you guys have on here. <laughs> but uh, also, I realized everyone else is probably a little less uh, impacted by a gummy than I am. So I'm going <laughs> to wrap up my fan fiction there. Yeah, no, Dr. Sleep is good. I, I agree with you. It's underrated. I love that movie. It was, I a, bummer. It was a bummer that it was underrated. It's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Eric, we all now decide which movie out of those we would want to see or see again. Yeah, just uh, write down one movie that is not yours, obviously. Um, I'll I'll write down one too. I'll I'll just keep that as a tiebreaker if if we need it. All right, and uh, uh, Danny, I cannot see you. If you want to put yours in the chat mm-hmm. and just wait to hit enter. Oh, um, okay. Let me see if I can figure this out. So, okay, got it. Thank you. Actually, uh, yeah. Thank you and. Should we all put it in the chat and then hit enter when you say? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let uh, get give a thumbs up when you're ready. Put it in the chat and then we'll uh, we'll just count them up. Three, two, one, go. What do we got? We got one for Sisu, one for Florence Sun, one for Book. <laughs> we got one for Book of Henry. That's amazing. Alex sold it. We got two for Sisu, two for Florence Sun, and one for Theater Camp. Uh, All right, so I, we have a two-way tie. Yeah, what do you got, Eric? I I had Sisu. I, cool. I couldn't not put Sisu. That movie's so good. It is. It's great. I, I, it's and, so good. And, and you sold it well. So, okay, so great. Dan, um, Dan, since you uh, chose uh, since you chose Sisu and that one was one, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna mix up the cards here. I'm gonna draw three of them, and you get to choose which one you want to do. Oh. Okay, fantastic. The first one we got is top five feel good movies. Then we got oh, top five feel good (laughs) movies for one point, top five self directed performances for three points, or you can take top five voiceover performances in a live action film also for three points. Okay. But given that the late hour, um, I'm going to go for kind of some lower hanging fruit on this one just to kind of get the ball rolling. I'm going to do top five feel good movies. Okay. 
Because the so, other ones were just but, requiring too much brain power, quite frankly. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, ke- and keep in mind, uh, once the timer starts, you are allowed to go online and look up stuff, but we'll do top five feel-good movies. Uh, is there anything specific you want to bring up about, uh, since it, you're you're the player now, you're the one that gets points here, are there any... Uh, right. Are, are there any uh, special rules you want to bring up about feel-good movies? Uh I guess the only thing I will say in regards to a franchise, um, uh, no sequels or no no subsequent films it has to be like the the original iteration of a film okay. if it is a if, if it is part of a franchise it has to be okay. the, the numero uno. So franchise, you're you're calling franchise rule then? All right, okay, cool. Sure. <laughs> well, I have so, sorry, I have one question. What's that? What if I was just like a complete dick and just like wrote down like you know, Schindler's List and, you know, movies that are definitely not feel-good movies. If a player or opponent's pick is vetoed, the vetoed choice is removed from the list and treated as if it were left blank. Player will be awarded points as if it were a match. Player will not be awarded an additional point for position. Feel free to write it, but probably not going to help. Yes, help your okay. Clients. Eric, I, I think that in this case, Mitch needs to explain why Schindler's List is a feel-good movie for him. <laughs> um, and that's fine. He can keep it on his list. No, that was just an, of, of a, an example of a opposite of feel-good movie. I I do not... Uh, I have not seen that since I saw it the first time. So. Don't worry. We'll, 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 we'll cut that part out. I'm cancelled, yeah. It's <laughs> short on YouTube. It's cool. Alright, so we're... Everyone ready? Three, two, one, go. Now that we did that, um, we will start with Dan, uh, since he's the player. Uh, go ahead and give us your top five in descending order from five to one. Wait, I have a quick question. Um, What's that? So, because this has one point, right? So, if any of us have the same movie he's about to say in the same number, then he will gain one point. If a player has any crossover with an opponent, this is known as a match. They will be awarded points as noted on the top five category card. If a player's match falls in the same position as an opponent, player gains one additional point. Um, yeah, for ready, uh, number five, Clueless. Okay, number four is Up. Oh, that's a good one. A uh, couple of sports ones coming up here. Uh, love me an underdog. Uh, number f- um, three is Hoosiers. Number two, bit of a bit of a deep pull. Breaking away, the bicycle movie, the cutters. Oh, right. Ooh, I've never seen that one. That's a oh, that's a good one. I I haven't seen it in probably twenty years, so I'm not sure how well it's aged, but I think it's probably aged pretty well. And then number one, hopefully this is on everybody's list. Amelie. Uh, oh, that uh, that's a great uh, pick. No, it's so not bad. mine. All right, so oh, okay. uh, 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 Ant, go ahead and give your uh, your list in descending right. order. At number five, I have the movie Big with Tom Hanks. All right. And then number four is A Christmas Story. And uh, number three is Chef from 2007, mm-hmm. I think. Wow. Um, number two, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And number one, of course, is Paddington 2. All right. Uh, Mitch? Go ahead. Uh, five is Sing Street. Uh, <clears throat> four is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Three is Toy Story. Uh, two is Pitch Perfect, and one is Little Miss Sunshine. All right, oh. Danny, what what's your list? I want to say alarm. this is this is difficult because we don't know each other, so yeah. I have mm. no idea. Like I was trying to guess movies that you know another guy would pick and not otherwise i would have put clueless and amelie on my list but i was like oh well, no, they don't want it, to watch it, that. it's good it's good you didn't otherwise dan would have got points for that but he didn't that's true that's true that's true okay so number five i have Step Brothers. all right nice. number four i have it's a wonderful life yeah i almost put that i almost put that mm-hmm. uh number three ferris bueller number two is paddington and number one is toy story and Alex, what do you got? So, sorry, yeah. before we go jump to Alex, I love you, Alex, but sorry. Um, so, Anthony had some similar ones with Danny, but that means nothing. Correct. 
We're only worried about uh, crossover with Dan because okay. he's the player. I, Everyone else is opponent. Well, we all know Dan's a player, but I just wanted to know. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry. Continue. Well, five is sing straight, so you and I have that in common. Um, four, School of Rock. Three, The Apartment. Mm. Two, uh, The Cameraman. And uh, one, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Makes me feel nice. good. Mm. Me too. Right. They don't die. Good, good stuff. All right, Joe, what do you got? Uh, so I went, uh, I, I switched where I was going with my list halfway through. So there was kind of a tone change. Um, I went number five, Coco. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm. Number four, Princess Bride. Good number one. three, Little Miss Sunshine. Hey, um, I'm number one. And uh, number two, it's just personal for me because I know it's not a very good movie, but I love the graphic novel. So Watchmen. Um, mm. just uh, something <laughs> that always movie. makes me feel good. I'll, anytime I watch that movie, I feel good. Um, and my number one is, uh, as Danny said, thinking what a guy would put on their list. The very next thing that came out of her mouth, Step Brothers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, is that everyone? I believe. So, unfortunately, Dan doesn't get any points that round. What? But... <laughs> But that's fine. That's fine. You didn't so, ask the other Dan what he wrote. The other Dan Logan? Well, we yeah, can't yeah. hear the other Dan. We can only oh. hear one of them and see the other one. <laughs> yeah, you well, got to the All right. So uh, I believe uh, on the order I have written down, it looks like we got Joe going up next. So okay. your cards are as follows. You have uh, top five insults for two points. You have top five monologues also for two points. And you have top five alien movies for one point. Hey, and while you're thinking about it, Joe, because I know it took me a minute. Quick question. Maybe it's a dumb one. But are all are all of your cards, Mitch? actual top five lists from the show or not a dumb question at all all the categories were taken from the film vault podcast you can find and listen to this brilliant podcast at www.thefilmvaultpod.com uh joe joe which one do you want to go for i think i'm going to take the uh the one that's going to work better for my guesses and i'm going to go with top five alien movies all right so we'll put the we're in the discard pile. And as and as far as uh, for for my strategy, I'm gonna i I'm gonna not say these franchise rules work on this one. So alien and aliens are different movies and different guesses. Okay. 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 So is everyone ready to go? Yep. All right. Yeah. In three, two, one, do it to it, Lars. So uh Joe. Uh, start with uh, number five and go in descending order. And you can just name them off and say a quick thing. Um, we'll we'll tally the points as we go through everyone else's list. Okay. Um, so I I kind of went with a strategy of trying to get what other people might guess. Um, yeah, that's that's I probably the game. I, I probably should have stuck with uh keeping him as a franchise. You're right, Eric. I <laughs> should have listened to your advice. Um, so number five, I put aliens. Um good sequel a lot more action less a lot less suspense than the original uh for et um i put this on my list because i thought other people would <laughs> it's not necessarily my favorite alien movie uh but it's a, a classic family movie um three arrival i think it's a good oh, nice. modern alien story yep uh two alien there's a, a great the original. I mean, it's Ellen Ripley is a badass, and this is where you meet her. And number one is my one of my favorite movies, The Thing, and mm-hmm. uh, the the Nailed remake, it. original remake. <laughs> <laughs> the re- nice. Oh, yeah, All right. Favorite. Um, the nineteen eighty two. John Mitch, Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, number yes. Oh yeah. Go start with five and work your way down. Okay. Um, number five, Village of the Damned. 
Number four, Altered. Number three, Contact. Number two, A Quiet Place. And he gets a point here because number one is Arrival. All right. So you get one for having it on there, but it's not in the same position, so you don't get the extra point. But hey, still one point. One point. Uh, Ant, what do you got? All right. So number five is ET. So I think he said that one. Yep. Uh, four, a quiet place. Three, ten Cloverfield Lane. Nice. Two, Annihilation. And number one, I have Arrival, which I think he had as number one, right? Uh, he had that number three. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Dan, what do you got? Uh, number five is Predator. Number four is Iron Giant. Number three is Annihilation. And then number two, double the point, Alien, singular. Nice. And number Damn. one, The Thing. Oh, another, yeah. du- another double point. Yeah, jump cleaned up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, Danny, what do you got? All right, number five, The Faculty. <laughs> number oh. four, signs. Mm-hmm. Number oh, yeah. three, Starship Troopers. I think oh. the bugs are aliens, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Call them Great. bugs, but I mean, they're from Clindatu, I believe, or something. Perfect. Your nerd and is here showing. we go. <laughs> number two is the thing, and number one is arrival. Yeah. Right, so. Yeah. And Alex. Uh, five is they live for aliens three double up arrival two <laughs> the thing and one alien so it's the most basic list of of, of everyone so. all right well joe <laughs> damn joe good job backed up the points it's a good good list if, good. if i would joe. if i would have done either of those other two categories i would have had like two things on my list and been <laughs> right uh, <laughs> so joe you just racked up 14 points on that one so next up hold on let me get the cards here next up we got alex and alex your cards are you have top five directorial debuts for three points you have top five things that wouldn't fly today uh, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to roll a dice for that one, and we'll get into that. It should you choose to pick it, um, and then we also have for two points, top five movies that don't need a theater. Yeah, I man. mean the die the die is so interesting. We should. Uh, I mean, I gotta go with that. Let's let's spice things up. Let's roll the dice and see what's going on. Quick explanation of the dice rules. Player who chooses a card with the picture start located at the top right of the card must roll a d6 die. Each number corresponds to a special rule. Rolling a 1, player gets 2 points per match or gets to swap points with anyone and skip this turn. A 2, 2 points per match or 1 point and opponent loses 1 point per match. 3, 3 points per match or 1 point per match and you get to create your own category. 4. Take 10 free points and skip this turn or re-roll. 5. Player gets no points this turn. Opponents, however, lose 2 points per match. 6. Swap points with anyone and 2 points per match. Do not skip this turn. For dice roll number 2 or 5, there are no additional points gained or lost for a matching position. And this dice kind of sucks, so let me kind of hit the button a couple times here. There we go. I mean, it's going to be five Quentin Tarantino movies for all of us, right? So. <laughs> now you got our mind oh. thinking that way. Okay, so you got like a Titanic because the Titanic would hmm. like it. <laughs> oh it's a <laughs> No, not quite. <laughs> Too soon. So you rolled a number one, and a number one corresponds to uh, this is either worth two points, as you've seen uh, the cards, or swap points with anyone and skip this turn. I, I've lived a okay, connection okay. here. I'll just, I'll, just double, I'll just double up the point. Uh, yeah, two points and let's keep this card rolling. 
So, Joe, since you got your uh, points stripped from you, no, um, I was kidding. I, I, no, I was, I was joking. I'll, I'll just double the points, and we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll do this. I don't, you know, it's fictional points. So, I mean, play it, the game. It, it, that is the game. If you swap yeah, points with Joe, but then, but then Joe will have to just play this round for the two points per per thing. So, do okay, you want to swap um, points yeah. or do? You... Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. And then he can uh, he can come up with the the five and try to. Okay, so I was going to skip his turn, take example. Joe's fourteen points. So Joe, let's hope he can do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Got to come up with top five things that wouldn't fly today. Now this is also Oof. kind of uh, a strange topic. So do you want to kind of uh, clarify what things that wouldn't fly today would entail <laughs> without giving specific examples because you don't want to burn answers. Like I did last time. Hey, it worked out for me last time. Uh, I, uh, good. <laughs> I planted the seed. Alien, aliens, guys. Joe. So is it canceled? Is it canceled yeah. stuff, or is it? Yeah, I would say something that, that we're, a movie that terrible. would get a director canceled or something like that. Definitely. But I know. But I think yeah. Joe. I don't. Joe, did you originally think that it was things that wouldn't be able to fly today? Like, <laughs> I mean, at, me being a smartass thought that yes, I, I knew that oh. that's not what. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I <laughs> no, it no. was funny on two levels, so I just had to make sure. I apologize. Yeah, let's just let's just look at it as like events or like scenes or things like that in movies. Like maybe not as specific as like I don't know. I, I think I'm going too vague with it because I, I would think like slapping somebody on screen or something like that. Um think this one's going to be a zero pointer for me is what i think <laughs> does anyone have any suggestions on like narrowing this one down if it were your no. topic i would I... say just go for the full-on movie as opposed to specifics yeah okay yeah, yeah. good yeah great and then you can explain like maybe what part you're talking about when you bring it up right yeah 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that that's absolutely fair. You can do that. Great. Yeah, that's that's actually kind of what I was thinking, but you put it in words. Got three minutes in three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, we see a Danny now. We do. Hello. Hi. Got my hello, phone. Hello. Hello, hello. I, I don't see anyone but me, actually. Everyone's just black squares for That's some all reason. that matters. Joe. I know. <laughs> I, yeah, all that matters is I can see myself. Yes, exactly. All right. So uh, Alex is up. Oh, wait. No. Alex stole points from Joe. This is Joe's round. Mm. Joe, why don't you start with five and work your way down? I put I put Tropic Thunder. Um, oh, that's a good one. I just for, it, oh. for, is, tro- is Tropic Thunder number five? or? Yeah, because cooking? I couldn't. The, so the reason why, because I couldn't think of any other movie that had blackface. Um, yeah. So I mean, there's was, plenty of them, mm. just not recent. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, number three, I put the Animal House rape scene. Yeah. Um, number. Sorry, hold, I skipped hold, four. Hold on, is that Animal House or Revenge yeah. of the Nerds that you're thinking of? That is Revenge of the Nerds. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. that's fine. We'll, we'll we'll put nerds on there. Oh. That, that, and, this would be did... that, that, this oh. would be an example of we know what you meant, even though you wrote yeah. the wrong thing. Yeah. I I re I renumbered mine, so I'm kind of in I've kind of uh, messed up the order. Um, so I think that was actually number three, but it probably doesn't matter. So did you not um, have a number five? I did. So number five was Tropic Thunder. Oh oh, and then four okay. for the blackface. Yeah, number four was actually the Twilight Zone movie. Um, oh, just yeah, the, God, I hope so. On set accident, like I think that Nick Morrow. I hope that that wouldn't happen today. Like and that was and not she, a and two young children. Yeah, yeah. Um, so number three then was Revenge of the Nerds. All right. Uh, number two. Just a general that this will probably not be in anyone's list because it's not a movie, but the Hayes Code. Huh. What's that? Just don't worry about like, it. <laughs> not it was no. Sorry, having, go ahead. Yeah, not being able to have women People and kissing. men kiss and uh, showing same like. Oh, different. okay. People, 
sleep yeah, sleeping in, in the same bed. bed. Yeah, in it bed, was ridiculous. Yeah. It was oh, back in like the fifties yeah. or thirties yes. or something like, like that. You couldn't yes. show interracial couples or anything like that. Like so, yeah, it's just kind of a black guy in Hollywood. Mm. Um, and then number one is um, Mickey Rooney Breakfast at Tiffany's. Like I don't think that gets made. Yeah, <laughs> I I have never seen that. I don't know. All right. Uh, I don't think that's getting 14 points. I'm nah, honest. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. Stranger things have Good happened. List, though. Well, well thought out list, really. Danny, what do you got? I have number five, American Pie. Oh, yeah. Number mm. four, I've got Django Unchained, uh, which is also I named my dog Django after that character. <laughs> uh, number three is White Chicks. Oh, good one. <laughs> that's yep. not good uh, I didn't think of that. That's the opposite yeah. of blackface. But, yeah. Exactly. Reverse. Uh, number two oh, is Leon God. the Professional. Yeah. And oh, yeah. number oh. one is Blazing Saddles. Yo. I, I, I will push back that uh, Professional couldn't happen today. There's a bunch of pervs in Hollywood that, that would... Mm. I mean, they probably they wouldn't paid, get away with it today. Up, I was going to say, paid. yeah. They, now, I, I, and I, it's still a great concept. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, still it like made it. me think that if 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 the Leon professional wouldn't happen today, then you could say taxi driver would definitely not happen today. So of oh, course, yeah. substitute yeah. that out. That's another good one. All right. Uh, next up, we have Mitch. Hi, how you doing? Um, number five, I have, which is crazy because it just came out a couple of years ago. I have music. Um. Oh, anybody... the okay, the the uh, the see, Sia the, movie, the Sia movie. I, I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure they still have music uh... in movies. We're gonna have to. <laughs> uh, number four is Revenge of the Nerds. That scene. So, all right. Uh, yeah, number three, there. I went with Ace Ventura. I, I I can't remember with Ace oh. Ventura and, or Ace Ventura two. Um. But with the so Les- on the whole trans thing, oh, yeah, yeah Leslie yeah. something Grapplehorn or something, yeah. Finkel Anyways. and Einhorn, Finkel or, or yeah, Einhorn, yeah. yeah Number Einhorn two, uh, I went with Song of the South, the mm-hmm. Zippity Doodah movie thing, and number one, I went with Birth of a Nation, uh, the original. Well, yeah, that's. Yeah. So, <laughs> I just went with movies, so I you nailed know, it. That was that was smart. I should have done yeah. that. <laughs> All right, my next to get points. All right, uh, yeah, next is Ant. Um, all right, so number five is irreversible. Gaspar knows irreversible. Um, that's oh, that's br- I can't even watch. I couldn't yeah. even finish that movie. I haven't even seen. It. I haven't seen it. It's not worth it. Yeah. It's just not worth it. No, I, just I, I, I worth will, it. but I. Uh, what damn? I, I, I anyway, actually kind of liked that movie, which is I, kind of crazy. It's a good. I, I, I think I it's a great it. movie, but that one scene is so yeah. Oh, yeah. long, it's and it's, it's just to, it's, it's yeah. overly mean. It's just, ugh, yeah. it's just it's hard to watch. But it is a good like mm-hmm. it's a great movie, but mm-hmm. it's just one of those one and dones for me. Like yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so irreversible. Next is Pulp Fiction. Quentin Tarantino dropping the N word over and over and over and over. It's pretty gross. Definitely wouldn't. That could be done today because he's got one more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what he does. <laughs> let's see if he does that. Um, three is The Hills Have Eyes. Both of them have a pretty gross rape scene in it. I don't know if y'all remember those movies. Mm-hmm. It was like a 2007 mm-hmm. and then an original and both have that. Uh, and then again, Last House on the Left, similar. I guess, I don't know if that maybe would count, but I don't know. Would, would you guys think that would get made today, Last House on the Left? Again, it has. it starts with a, a pretty bad rape. Well, I, the, like, I think the most disturbing thing about that is what the music that they play while it's going on, because they were trying to lighten the mood. That actually <laughs> makes it worse. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, and the number one is Blazing Saddles. Basically all of it. I love that movie. But oh. They just right. couldn't. Dan, what do you got? Wow, I, I missed a lot, obviously, because these are all great lists. I, I, My brain immediately went to like the 70s and the 80s. And, That's a good um, place to start. <laughs> so, <laughs> so number five, Animal House. I I personally, it's a Kevin Bacon's, you know, initial, you know, his his breakout role. Um, it's rewatchable. I just don't, you know, just it go, it crosses too many lines. Um, cool Hand Luke. Oh, I haven't seen that. Uh, I, oh golly, it's uh, it's. 
it's just violence against prisoners, but it's also it's also kind of it's like a uh, Tennessee Williams kind of it's, it's it's almost like a, Oh Brother Where Out Though Where Out Though in terms of its sort of mythic kind of um, qualities and storytelling. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I know Ken Kesey, okay. yeah. classic novel, but pretty fucked up. Yep. Uh, this one, you know, uh, Trading Places. I just, there's, there's yeah. a lot of yeah, yeah. There's a lot of racism. In there. There. Yeah. Um, and then finally, finally, Big, number one. I mean, <laughs> he's, 12, he's a 12 year old boy, and they hop into that bunk bed together. Oh, yeah. And, that's you know, right. along the lines of, you know, along the lot- lines of, Taxi driver and and um, yeah. uh, Lee on the professional. Isn't that you know, funny that good. I had that as a feel good movie and now it's a movie that I know, I know. <laughs> I was gonna say I couldn't, I couldn't remember who it was, but I know somebody else. I put think it on a feel good. Movie. All right, Alex, go for yeah. it. So, uh, five with white chicks. Danny mentioned that already. Um, yeah, it did definitely win its fly today. For uh, the color purple, just solely because you're not going to have a, a, a white dude making a black feminist movie like that. Um, that's why they're remaking it. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Three Blazing Saddles, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, two, the movie Blank Check. There's two reasons this yes. one's fly today. One, filmed in Austin. Kid, it, yeah. One, because the kid hooks up with the teller and she's like yeah. 20. It's gross. 12 in two because he gives himself a million dollars in the check and that wouldn't go anywhere today. So he thought, you know, he would buy <laughs> one piece of property. He wanted clothes on it and, you know, he yeah. wanted to praise and it'd be a disaster. Um, Are you, is this so, the 1994 Disney movie? Yeah. Yes. It's, oh my God. Uh, I watched this a lot when I was a kid. Same. Is it, oh, is, is it the one on the poster yeah. where he's got the sunglasses doing this? Yes. 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 The kid's Good I hate call. That yes, one so, is what? You know, Get oh, to, guess who's coming to dinner? But but specifically the asking Kutcher one, because yeah. uh, oh sure yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So let me uh. So yeah, but do we have any crossover? Add, add up all the Joe? points, Joe. Yeah, so I think you're at fourteen Joe, you points, got, Joe. Joe, you got one point on that one. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's at least I'm not in last place right now. So <laughs> <laughs> true that. True that. All right, uh, Danny, you're up next. Let me give you go. your cards here. Oh my god, I'm just looking at blank check right now. But Karen <laughs> Duffy, oh, I was in love with her. When I was yeah, there. she was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So huh. for one point, we have Sorry. top five male child actors. Oh, stop mm. it! Blank check. Yep. <laughs> I know. I was just thinking. That. Uh, two for two points, we have top five gay characters. <coughs> hey. Okay. And for three points, we have top five weapons arsenals. Oh, you got the one, two, three. Ooh. I know. Male I kind of want to go actors. with gay characters. I kind of want to do that. Mm. Hey, girl. Would that fly today? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you, right. uh, you would think it definitely would because, you know, more gay characters and more movies. You put gay that, characters that, away. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> so, so, question to Danny: five. Is this is this explicitly explicitly gay or even gay coded? We could do. I mean, we could oh. do explicitly, but we could also do like like we all know. Cool. Three, <laughs> well, two. We already bad did feel joke. Good. One, Mitch, and go. <laughs> all right. So we will start with Danny. Why don't you give us your yeah. list of top five gay characters? This wasn't All as right. easy to come up with as I thought. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so number five is, and I should know this because I just watched it, but um, Natasha's character in But I'm a Cheerleader. Number four is Hank and Zari's character in The Birdcage. Nice. Mm-hmm. There's a lot uh, of good ones, yeah. but he's, he's so fun. Uh, number three is going to be Damien in Mean Girls. Oh, number third. two. Oh, I'm going to go with um, Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. Good one. <laughs> and number one is Bruno. Mm-hmm. So uh, number five, I went with uh, just because it was topical. Ben Platt's character in Theater Camp. Um. 
And number four, I went with Mean Girls, Damien. Uh, number three, I went with Simon and oh, Love Simon. Simon. Uh, number two, I went with either of the girls from blue is the warmest color do i have to pick one uh, it's yeah. not on the list so it doesn't matter okay <laughs> right true uh and number one i did frankenfurter from uh oh, oh yeah oh my god that's that's so good yeah mm. see i was i was gonna put frankenfurter on my list but i wasn't sure if frankenfurter is gay or trans and i didn't think oh be trans. Yeah, yeah, I, don't... I left off some mm. trans characters on mine. I th- I, th- I think he's mm. male and and definitely very like yeah. Well, I I yeah. think he's more just gay. I don't know, but all right. So find it. Uh, next up is Ant. All right, my number five, the Birdcage, Hank Azaria. I'm with you, Danny. I love his mm-hmm. performance in that. So. Ooh, two Not points bad. for that, right? No, four points for that. No, it's just one. Uh, yeah, I think she. Da- had Danny four. has Birdcage had at four. four. Oh. All right, and then um, Timothy Chalamet, call me by your name. Mm. Um, okay. Number three, this is a recent one. I don't know, not many people saw it, but Bros. What's his <laughs> name though? What's the guy's name in Bros? Um, the comedian Billy Eichner. Billy Eichner? Bill Eichner, yeah. Number two is the favorite. Uh, what's her name? Oh, oh, oh good call, good Olivia one. Coleman. Olivia Coleman in that. Mm-hmm. It's just so oh, good. Gosh, she, yes. Yeah. And then Girl my girls. number one is Portrait of a Lady on Fire, one of my favorite movies of all oh, time. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very good. Both the characters in that. Nice. <laughs> all right, Dan, you're up next. What do you got? Oh, okay. Um, uh, number five is Jennifer Aniston's brother. And I, he's, he's, he's awesome in everything he does. I think it's Peter Michael Clark or something like that. But Jennifer Aniston's brother in The Breakup. Right. Yeah, John Michael Higgins. John Michael Higgins, yes. I yes. Can... He's great. He's so great. He's um, great everything he did. And I had a hard time not putting him down for his role in Best in Show. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I picked the breakup because it was more obscure and I figured it would screw somebody out of some points. Um, okay, number two, uh, or number four, Tammy Metzger in Election. Oh. She is... Paul Metz, Metzler, Metzger. Sorry. Okay. I think the whiskey's kicking in. So, yeah, election, you know, uh, the the um, PTA. Yeah, they... Not so PTA. It's, uh, who the fuck? It's, well, it's, um... it's Polinook. You know, Chuck Polinook is the uh, source material. Yeah, uh, with Broderick. Uh, the guy right. who's married to, yeah, 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 Broderick, yeah. Witherspoon. Oh, Alexander Payne. Yeah, He's got Withers... a new movie coming up. Yes. Alexander, Alexander Payne. Payne. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, number three is Jane Lynch in anything. So <laughs> great. Take your pick. She's great. I mean, nor- normally, it, if you're a player, that totally is not a legal move. But since you're an opponent, fuck it. <laughs> casting a wide net for the player, go for it. It's late, you know, a couple of drinks. All right, number two is Amy Ansler in Booksmart. That's Caitlin Deaver's oh, character. Nice. I nice. just, I just love that movie. It is so. It's. I've recommended that, that to my teenage kids to watch. Have you seen No One Will Save You so. with Caitlin Deaver? Yes. Uh, yes, I have. I did. I liked it. I've seen I some hate out there about it. I liked she it. She was great. It's, she was awesome. Fuck off! It's it's a decent film. Yep. It's it's better than Shyamalan's done recently. So oh, yeah. fuck off. All right, and then um, Philip Seymour Hoffman in Boogie Nights. All right, uh, Joe, what do you got? Um, all right, Danny, you're going to get some points here. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, number five, I've got Tom Hanks, Philadelphia. And mm. I think that's just because I thought of him last. Um, probably should have been lower on the list, but that's where he ended up. Um, <laughs> number four, <laughs> I just wrote down uh, The Gay Man in Eternals because I couldn't remember the name of the character since there were like 19 people in that movie um, yeah but is that barry keen it, no, no, no it, it was it was brian tyree was, henry was a, byron tyree henry yes right yeah it, right right, it, right. It, it, fa- fastos um is the character yeah, yeah so fastos I, yeah it, i like i liked that they had a gay man in a mainstream disney movie like I, yeah I thought that was a good thing good move on disney's part um Number three, I had the same thing. Damien, Mean Girls. 
Um, Ooh, in you the same two spot. on that one. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, number two, I had, I went back and forth between um, the two men in Brokeback Mountain, Jake Gyllenhaal, and um, what's his yeah, name? Yeah, they, they did a lot of back Hugh and forth Forger. in that movie, too. Yeah. He, he, did you say Hugh Jackman? Heath Ledger. Uh, Heath Ledger. Okay, yeah. Um, but since Danny didn't pick either of them, I didn't have to choose. And then number one, the first uh, character that came to me for gay characters is uh, Big Gay Al from South Park, Bigger Long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Alex, what do you got? Uh, number five, I've got Carol and Teresa from Carol. Uh Mm. For mm-hmm. Violet and Corky from Bound. Nice. Uh, a Josie from Bottoms. Yep. All right. A, a, a De Beery's character. Um, is two? Yeah. Uh, two, which doesn't really count, but totally does count. Uh, the narrator and Tyler Durden from Fight Club. Um, they're totally, totally gay. Uh, what? Especially, you know, ask, ask, yeah, for sure. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, Oh, it doesn't yeah, exist, kind but... Of, but not really, you know. And uh, hold, hold on, he was banging Marla Singer. That's not gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, but but there's there. I mean, just judges, watch that movie, like judges, oh, yeah, very. I, yeah, you know what? Well, we, got, I, 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 I'm calling. I'm calling this because we haven't got to test. Oh well, give it. Give us your number one real quick. Oh, uh, number one is uh, Lady Hidoko in Suki from The Handmaiden. The movie fucking right. rips. Everyone should watch it. It's yeah, cool. that movie's awesome. I'm watching it very soon because you assigned it to me. So I, I'm, I'm going to give uh, Danny a point on that one because I'm. I, are we gonna? Are we gonna? Uh, well, we, yeah, we should take a vote. I, I, are we gonna? Uh, count Tyler that was fun. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Cool. I think you're right. You're right. But technically, I also had like nine people on the list. You know, I just picked couples, basically, whoever I thought was adorable and ended <laughs> up happy. I was like, I love you. Please keep living another life. So <laughs> I'm going to rewatch Fight Club with all new eyes. Um, Danny, you got six points on that one. Not 14, yeah, but hey. <laughs> well done. Good job, Danny. Hey, that's pretty damn good. So we got uh, Mitch up next. Oh. Unfortunately, Danny had to leave early. Thank you, Danny, for joining us. Hope to have you on again soon. Um, I'll I'll, I'll play for Danny. So uh, Mitch has a uh, we got a Mitch and then Ant. Uh, Mitch, for two points, you have top five sex scenes. That's why Danny uh, left. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to roll a dice, we have top five movies that feel like homework. Oh, I did that on the film vaulters. I have to uh, go online and uh, pull up your I list. Remember, I remember, yeah, I remember that. Uh, and episode. also for a uh, roll of the dice, we got top five anti heroes. Okay, I'm just gonna go top five movies that feel like homework. I, I, the other two are kind of giving me a headache. All right, okay. So put that there, put that there, and let me roll the dice and see what you roll. We got four. Four corresponds to. Take 10 points and skip this turn or re roll. Uh, let's re roll. All right, yeah, I guess since uh, the, the leading is 14 points, I want to, yeah, I want to, and I want to, I want to play. Okay, uh, we got number five. A player gets no points this turn, however, opponents lose two points per match. So nice. you're not you're not going to gain any points, but you can make us all lose points. Okay, all right, and we can go negative, right? Uh no, you only go to, once you're at zero. That that's okay. that's that. So when I when I googled uh, top five, well, I didn't Google top five. I just googled movies that feel like homework. I got a YouTube clip from uh, Bruce Perky. Can I just play that for my answer? <laughs> that's only like oh. an hour and thirty four minutes. Uh, okay. All right. In three, two, one, go. All right, Mitch. What do you got? Sorry. Mm-hmm. Number five, I went with a childhood classic that my grandma always used to make me watch The Ten Commandments. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. number, f- number four, I went with 12 Years a Slave. Uh, number mm. three, I went with Casablanca. Oh. 
Oh, uh, good one. I didn't mean Casablanca. I meant Gone with the Wind. Can I change uh, it right now? Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> let me write it real quick. Sorry. Not Casablanca. I, went with, I meant with Gone with the Wind. That, that's going to be funny if literally everyone has Casablanca. <laughs> and you just, just... Whatever. No, because yeah. I have Gone with the Wind, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> We just with get a gone. chance to change ours too. No, um, <laughs> I haven't even seen Casablanca. Uh, number two is Shoa, and number oh one, Jesus, Shoah. that is homework. Uh, number one is Citizen Kane. I took that off my list. I had it on there, oh. and I was like, "Oh wait, I got to put ones that he won't get." Oh, I forgot you were. Hey, Citizen Kane's a good movie. I don't know what they're talking about. It's good. Uh, it's snappy. It's quick. It's fun. Yeah, it is. Good. All right. So, Ant, what do you got? All right, so I have Umbrellas of Sherberg. It's a classic. I know. I've never seen it. It feels like homework. Mm-hmm. One of these Catherine things. Catherine Deneuve. Uh, then San- Sata de Nango, that seven-hour movie, a Vietnam movie. Have you all heard of that one? No. No? Uh, no? Oh, all right. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia. That's a four-hour movie. It's a classic. It feels like homework mm-hmm. to watch. I did go and see it in the theater somewhat recently. I got a Peter one. O'Toole, yeah. Yeah, yep. Uh, Schindler's List. That's another mention. Uh, and then my number one, Mitch, is oh, the Ten Commandments. But have you seen it? Oh, yeah. I saw Schindler's List at the re-release a couple years okay. ago. It was amazing. Right. It's a great movie. But then, yeah, my number one is the Ten Commandments. So that's definitely a point for you, Mitch. All right, Eric, are you next? Uh, Dan is next. Number five, The Lighthouse. Yeah. I'm Eggers, with you. right? I don't, I don't, it took me a really long time to to dive into that and then when i did i was like yeah i can feel you there i feel you there i yep, remember with you. fuck i wasn't in the mood for it and then it yep, felt same. like homework as i watched it It was like same i, lo- I mean I, I love book i love fucking even robert pattinson and obviously we love willem dafoe but that was some was some weird shit and i like yeah weird shit, yeah but, yeah i'm fuck. with you i didn't like i didn't end up liking that one. all right um gone with the wind number four um, which I've never point. seen, um, oh, good. which is, but in the correct order of videotapes, hello, Anderson. <laughs> Wind with the gone. That, yeah, he, 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 it was a two, it was a two VCR, it was a two VHS set, and he put the second one in first, right? Oh, That's yeah, the, yeah, I remember uh, that. Yeah, 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 okay. He watched part two first and then opened the second exactly. one exactly and it was like the exactly. opening credits and he's like what, what the fuck idiot. <laughs> all right it's a wonderful life never oh, seen the whole one. movie just i uh, just number three just what the fuck i huh mary oh, i've seen parodies of it everywhere oh yeah. mary we got the we got the loan from the bank and this guy's a bad guy he stole all our money mary well, it's not at my house, it's at Dave's house and Fred's house. Yeah, you're right. The okay, number one is the Leprechaun series. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not homework. No. Especially oh, the, oh, lep- the, because, the, the le- Leprechaun oh, in the because, Hood. Oh, the well, only because the when hood. I was looking at stars, when I was looking at my stars thing that I've been subscribed to for 14 months, they have all the Leprechaun movies on there. I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't. There's seven. 17 of them? Fuck, I can't watch this one. So, no, I, I, I can't read the writing on my second one. I can't even read my handwriting, sorry. Well, okay. it, it's I, fine, because start... you're already at zero. You can't go beyond that, so. <laughs> true, true. Thank you. Thank point. you for summing up my life, Mitch. Appreciate <laughs> that. In I fact, really... in fact, Dan, you know, I'm going to give you a point for that. It's crazy. Dan well, is struggling. Like Dan, congratulations. You somehow managed to get a point in a round where you can only lose points. <laughs> exactly. That's what I do, man. Uh, Joe, did you do yours already? I have not. Okay. Um, what, what What's um, yours? I, I, think I, did, I think I took uh, the wrong approach because I picked movies that I've seen and I think that it was just I thought they might be homework before watching them. Yeah, um, that's fine. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh, number five. Mitch's feel good movie Schindler's List. Um, number four, hmm. uh, but you watched it. Wrath. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a great movie, and yeah, I mean, yeah. for what it is, it's not yeah, an yeah. enjoyable movie. But um, yeah, uh, Grapes of Wrath. Um, that one, 
I, I remember we watched it in high school and I made fun that's of it. Four, that's time. John Ford, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, like the, what's his name? James Stewart. Henry Fonda. Yeah, or Henry Fonda. Is that who it is that's in it? Yeah. Or is it James Stewart? I think so, yeah. Uh, but uh, we watched it in high school and I made fun of it through the entire time because I was like, this is a black and white movie. It's stupid. And uh, <laughs> then when I rewatched it when I was older, I was like, wow, this is a very profound, very good movie that I should have paid attention in history class. Um, number three, Lighthouse. Uh, same. Nice. I, I didn't think it was a bad movie, but um, it definitely was like I had to get myself like amped up to watch it. Um, uh, number two, Harold and Maud. Um, That's how really good one. This one. And I saw like, that one in high school. I, yeah, I, I just recently watched it. I, Me too. I've been putting it off because I just I thought honestly I thought my opinion of Anderson might change um, <laughs> if I that, thought it was the, a horrible movie the thing, and uh, it's really good the thing about Harold and Maude is like you look at like that DVD case or the poster mm-hmm. yeah, it, it just looks act- dry as fuck it's like yeah, there's it no way this movie is good yeah, and then you put yeah. it on it's like this movie's awesome yeah um, that then, Jaguar number, damn yeah um, number one I put uh, Seven Samurai, which I think it was mm-hmm. again just because it was the old, older movie, black and white, foreign language, and then once I watched Kurosawa, it, I was, yeah, yeah, blown away. Yeah. Uh, Alex, what you got? Uh, five uh, Woman Under the Influence. Gasabetti is it's like super long. Go to turn it on. Like I, these are all movies I haven't seen, by the way, because I'm like. I don't want to do homework tonight. Uh, yeah. So that's five. Four is uh, Deer Hunter. Too long. Uh, also just a bummer. So yeah. don't want to see that. I haven't seen that one. Um, uh, four or three is uh, Come and See. Oh, yeah. Russian that's a great one. Movie. Again, just a fucking bummer. I don't yeah, want to see I that. I haven't seen it yet. I just um, that po- Speaking of posters, that one is like, oh, God. What is uh, this guy? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um. And then Spartacus, just again super long. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, don't, I don't sword and sandals kind of stuff. I'm like, eh, I get it. You know, they all they're all Spartacus. You know, let's, you know, I get that. <laughs> Every last one. Um, and then, and I feel the worst about this because not only is it long, um, but you gotta read it, uh, Ron, which that is gotta be just a banger. That I'm like, oh, man, I just I can't. Can't I can't start it early enough for the day to to finish it. What was that one? Ron. Oh, oh, Ram. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. How do you spell it? R A N. R A N. R A N. Pronounced Ron. R. Okay. I think that's Curacao as well, isn't it? Yeah. So writing these down for Danny, I think it did her well. Number five was Inherit the Wind. Uh, any version, they're all great. Uh, but it seems like a black and white movie about the Scopes Monkey trial. Oh, how how, how, how yeah. wonderful! And it is. Uh, number four, Dances with Wolves. Good it seems like a, a long oh, uh, homework movie, especially now. I started watching yeah. it uh, recently, and turns out it is homework. Uh, number three, <laughs> that's why you just started watching it. You haven't finished it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. Uh, number three is In the Mood for Love. Uh, Wong Kar Wai. The movies just seem like they're homework. And, then you and you gotta be in them. the mood for that one. Yeah, I could, I, oh, I like could just Malik as easily movie? put just Wong Kar Wai. Because for, <laughs> for some reason, his movies seem like homework. And then I end up watching them and I'm like, these are really good. I dig them. Uh, number two, I wanted to put Vamp- Vampire, but I went with Nosferatu. Uh, just mm-hmm. old, black and white, silent movie. Um, okay, is that worth it. watching? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, and number one is the apartment. Awesome movie, but it just seems like if you haven't seen it, it's like eh, eh, old Jack Lemon. Uh, yeah. Know. But uh, yeah, uh, apartment's good stuff. Um, and not many points lost that round. No. Nope. And Mitch is at zero still. Cool. And now we will uh, end this game. 
normally the or this would be then the first round but we'll just end it here uh just everyone gets the idea but we're gonna we're gonna end it here with ant so your first card oh Ant hasn't played yet oh okay sorry all right get it all right uh for two One points we have for two points Ant we have the Nate. Top five fictitious rock stars. Okay. <laughs> For one point, we have top five performances by a male by male child actors. I think we've ruled that topic off. And for one point, we have top five movies that scared you as a child. Oh shit! All right, I think movies that scared you as a child would be fun. Um, mm. And. Fictitious rock stars. Uh, the one I thought of that I just want to mention was Pop Star. Have you guys seen Pop Star? Yes. Never stop, never yes. stop. Oh, oh, never yeah. stop, never stop. It. Yeah, so that's a great real. One. Yeah, that, that almost real. went on my feel good movies. <laughs> yeah, that is a feel good movie. It's so <laughs> funny and underseen. But yeah, I'm gonna go with movies that scared you as a child. I think that'll be fun for us to talk okay. about. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Let me get the timer set here. You guys ready? As well, so ready. Ready. Three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you got? Number five, never ending story. Um, I was scared by this movie as a kid. I loved it, but it scared me as a kid. Uh, mm-hmm. next was Gremlins. God, that movie really scared me. Uh, the little monsters. Let's and number four, and then number three was The Exorcist. Definitely saw this way too young. Terrifying. Uh, number two was Chucky. Any of the Chucky movies. Showed that when I was way too young. And then number one is Jaws. Jaws nice. was super scary as a kid. All right. Uh, Dan, mm. why, don't, why don't you go first? What do you got? All right. Uh, I've got House on Haunted Hill, the original mm-hmm. from like the 70s. They have Vincent Price. Mm-hmm. There was a fucking skeleton that emerged out of a vat of acid. That every time I wa- had to get milk from the basement and bring it up the stairs, up, I ran up the stairs because I thought that <laughs> skeleton was going to fucking grab my leg, pull me down. Yeah. Wait, what was your last the one? Exorcist? You just said? Okay. Exorcist, right? Point, double point, whatever. Right. Yep. The Omen, Damien. Oh, fucking love that psycho. Movie. Good one. Right? Love that movie. Um, Helen Keller. I watched a film uh, <laughs> with Patty Duke as Helen Keller. I watched it in school. Okay. It's called The Miracle Worker. Uh, oh, it yeah. Was frightening. It frightening. Yeah, exactly. It was so frightening. Is it? Um, and then I had a blank because I got an answer. On the number one, you blanked? Yeah, I did. All but right. about whiskey. All right. That is a point. Um, Joe. What do you got? All right. Uh, so I got number five, My Girl. Um, that one, uh, I, thought for sure. I was going to get stung to death by bees. Yeah, I was going to. That, that movie has been brought up in my life three times today. One in the podcast from like nine years ago. One in like the film vault, like the bonus one. And then you're bringing it up mm-hmm. today. I think it's hilarious. That's where I don't think it was it's a good bro- movie. They did no, bring it up uh, on the bonus film vault, yeah. Uh, number four, uh, Truman Show. Um, that scared you? I thought that oh, there were uh, cameras cool. everywhere because I was. It was like yeah. came out when I was fairly young. I can see that. Little Joe's um, in the bathroom. Like, are there cameras in here? Yeah. <laughs> I was. Yeah, I was giving him a show. Um, <laughs> number three, uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Yeah, uh, it's very specific because I just watched it way too young. I just watched that for the first time yesterday. It's funny now because like I watch it now, it's like laughable. Where it's like that's not scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But and, and same with number two, uh, Hellraiser. But sorry, is um, that part of the Freddy? Is yeah. that part of the Freddy yeah, franchise? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, Hell Hellraiser the original. Great movie. Like, it scared me. Um, oh. I love that movie today. <laughs> uh, I I great I have practical effects. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I have a. Live, laugh, love. Uh, Hellraiser shirt that I bought from Ludwig Van Bacon. Um, <laughs> that is one of my favorite shirts I wear all the time, all year round. Um, <laughs> and then number one is them 
uh, with the exclamation point. Ooh, I, um, that's on my I October thought, list. Yeah, it's. I thought that that movie, like for some reason, so I had a I had an odd childhood, and we did not have a TV growing up most of our lives. So like most of my like TV and like movies that scared the shit out of me were when I was very young, and I saw them. And I always thought that it was just like a TV show that we had recorded off of VHS because I'm sure we just recorded it mm. off a of TV and um, had no idea that this movie existed until the internet came around and I was able to like rediscover mm. it and like re traumatize oh, myself. Like, oh, yes, that's that movie that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Um, it's not a good movie, in my opinion, <laughs> but right. it, it's like it, it is what it is. It's fun, <laughs> campy. Uh, Alex, what do you got? Uh, five. I have uh, Freddy versus Jason. I don't like it when Freddy steals the girl's nose. You, you should, people should keep their noses. Don't like that part. <laughs> me. Um, Stop it. Four. <laughs> four is The Shining. I don't like all oh, the blood. Yeah. Don't like it mm. too much. Shouldn't have been in an elevator. Cool. Not a fan. Three. Uh, saw. He puts his hand in the toilet water, fucking disgusting. I was freaked out. It did not, no, no bueno. That's the um, part that scared you. Yeah, it was scary. It was when so you were gross. a kid. Like, because what's what's in the water? You don't know. Is it poop? Or like, <laughs> whose poop is it? It's disgusting. Everything and, else. But, like, and, I've been trying. I've been trying. Uh, two is uh, scream. Um, you know, uh, people getting stabbed. No good. Uh, scary. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, you know the 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 um, what's the girl that got caught in the the garage? Oh that's yeah, right. Yeah. Oh no. yeah, the Harvey that's, Weinstein um, gal. Yeah, what's her um, name? Yeah, the Harvey Weinstein. Uh, show, yes. Oh, Rose McGowan. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Rose, Rose McGowan. McGowan. I always yeah. think of Amanda Seyfried, so? and it's not. <laughs> and then uh, the ring is number one. You watch the tape. You, someone calls uh, you, and you're dead. I don't like that. Uh, you know. Um. Uh. Uh, for mine, the arrow for a uh, place of Danny. Uh, number five was Poltergeist. The idea of being oh, trapped forever one. in a TV just creeped the uh, hell out of me. That scared me a lot. It, it's weird. The clown doesn't do it. The ghost doesn't do it. Like skulls, like Poltergeist. I was fine with Poltergeist until she got trapped in it. Uh, no, number four is Dark Crystal. Skeksis, come on, those things are creepy mm-hmm. as fuck. Yeah, even Agra is creepy. She's one of the good guys. Uh, no, no. Number there. three is uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You know the part I'm thinking of. Yes, I don't. Home large Mars. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think oh, you meant the tequila dance. Uh, number two is a Shining, specifically towards the end when uh, uh, Jack Nicholson is chasing down uh, his son. Danny, like, yeah, yeah, Danny. Uh, like that. That part uh, made me think yeah. of. Oh shit! What if my dad was trying to kill me? That's so <laughs> fucked up. Number one kind of goes to the similar thing with Poltergeist of being trapped in the TV is Time Bandits. Early on, when they go in the the uh, closet and get sucked into the world, and the the fact that they're trapped there and they can't get back, like to, so, something about that that kind of thing always creeps me out. And then we got Mitch. It's a good Mitch, one. what you got? Oh fuck! Jumanji would have been my number one on my list if I. That's a good one. Oh, really? Um, number five, I match up with Ant completely with Never Ending Story. Hey. Um, I love that movie, but uh, scary. Um, I I'm sorry. I don't know if you call it franchise uh, rules, but I went with Jaws two. Um, I saw that on TV as a youngster. There's one part in it that like where he like flips the body around. It really scared me. Oh, um, count it. Okay. Uh, number three is uh, if anybody can guess um, who he's from, who what he's from. Oh, the, the, uh, I, I almost put that one. The uh, uh, labyrinth. Yes, the labyrinth. Oh yeah, that was my. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, number two is Tremors, and uh, number one yeah. is the movie that scared me the most uh, is The Sixth Sense. Yeah. All right. So I was like 13. I was staying over at a friend's house. Uh, my mom would never let me watch scary movies. Um, and they put on The Sixth Sense. And um, I had to call my mommy to come pick me up and <laughs> take me home. So, Eric, right. because uh, Mitch had 
the same number five as me? Is that two points? If a player has any crossover with an opponent, this is known as a match. They will be awarded points as noted on the top five category card. If a player's match falls in the same position as an opponent, player gains one additional point. So, yes, Ant, you get two points. You yeah. Two points. Yeah. Okay. I got, okay, cool. I got two. And, and I counted Jaws, too. For okay. this, yeah, I should have said franchise, franchise rules. rules. I should have called that. But cool. uh, this is uh, the, the, the extra, whether or not Jaws or uh, Jaws two counts or not? It's not going to affect the final score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 keep in mind, uh, anyone listening, we just played one round. Normally, go three rounds. Normally, it goes a lot quicker than this too. But you know, yeah, we, if we were in uh, person, it would have fun. Let's do a let's do a final score tell yes. here. Uh, um, in last place, we have Mitch. Good job, Mitch. Well, you, you played the last round, dude, out of like 15. That's I'd true. Tied for uh, fourth place is Dan and Joe with one point. Good job, hey, guys. One. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Sorry, you Joe. I mean, you, you, we're you number really, one. You did really you well. Motherfucker, yeah. we're number one. <laughs> we're number one. Uh, yes, number, you are. Uh, in third place <laughs> with four points, we got Ant. Good job, uh, Ant. Cool. Second place. Yeah, good job. I gave you those points. <laughs> Se- second, <laughs> second place was six points, and although I helped, I didn't gain any points. So, uh, Danny. Oh, I gave all oh, this. Oh, I gave. Yeah. And no, she's she got first, some good cards. Yeah, and some good answers. Yeah. And uh, first place, Alex. Hello. With fourteen points. He's it's truly hard earned points, you know. It's, it's a master <laughs> no, of the game. I know exactly what to do. Does someone oh, yeah. want to say yeah, it? Yeah, it's awesome. Oh yeah, who wants to say it? Who? Oh. who? Do it for Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs>